Both Lynn and I grew up in homes with pets. They were always part of our family. They were part of our lives. They were our friends. Uh, they provided support for us. We could talk to them all the time about anything. We can give them affection and they returned it unconditionally. Uh, Linda always grew up with cats. I grew up with a collie and a Siamese. Um, and uh, in the 40 plus years that Lynn and I were together, I don't think there were more than a month or two that we didn't have one or more pets. We even took our two Burmans with us over to the former Soviet Republic of Azerbaijan when I had an international assignment over there. And I can remember working with the cats Christmas Eve at the hotel at the airport in Amsterdam with the litter box, making sure that they were taken care of as we transported between uh, Azerbaijan and the United States. When Lynn and I retired to Florida in 2008, uh, we got involved with a number of animal organizations. And unfortunately, a number of them ran into managerial control issues, oversight issues, uh, didn't follow up on their commitments to us. And so when we bought a home here in 2011 uh, and moved back on part-time, we wanted to get involved with an organization that, one, was doing good work. That was most important. Second, we wanted to deal with an organization that was well-managed. And third, that would keep us surprised of their program progress and our how our funds were being utilized. And that's how we came to learn about Animals. Obviously, we were very familiar with the Meals on Wheels brand and the Animals association with that. We were familiar with the good works of Interfaith Ministries. And we met with the staff members and we're, we're very confident that we would be kept apprised and integrated into the program activities. And as they say, the rest is history, really. Uh, we, we got involved with the Animals program before the very first brunch in 2014 and have been proud supporters of the program ever since. Linda was a very smart and intelligent person. She spent most of her career as a computer programmer, applying the logic and her intellect. She was valedictorian of her high school class. Uh, but she was also a very caring and compassionate person. And that caring and compassion just carried through to everything that she did. Uh, she was also a very humble person not looking to be spotlighted or highlighted. Uh, we both tried to follow the Charles Dickens quote of do as much good as you can with as little fuss as possible. Uh, we weren't trying to draw attention to ourselves. They are just so giving and modest and never really sought the spotlight for themselves, but always wanted the spotlight to be on Anna Meals. For many years, they were the secret challenge donors behind the Stock the Shelves campaign, which enabled us to make sure our pantries were full during the difficult summer months. Fred and Linda always took an active role in that campaign, not only as donors, but actually helping us craft the strategy behind the campaign and even the words with which we pitched that ask. As a couple, they've supported many activities of Interfaith Ministries, always there to understand the greatest need and to try to respond, to make matches and to join matches and to make sure that we have the resources we need to care for our clients and especially the Meals on Wheels clients' pets. Even though that Linda's not here, I know that she's pleased with the progress that we've seen with the Animals Meals program. And, uh, we look forward to continuing that support in the future, to seeing it grow, seeing it develop, uh, and expand to more seniors and uh, a larger geographic area uh, down the road. Um, so I know she's looking down and smiling. Fred, it's our honor as Interfaith Ministries to thank you and Linda for all the support that you've given us over the years. You're truly making the difference for animals, animals, Meals on Wheels, Interfaith Ministries. We thank you, we wish you well, Mazel Tov, and congratulations.